Now you see what he meant by saying, I'm sure you're going to get a great panel of speakers. Thanks for being there with us as part of this journey. And it's over to you, sir. The stage is all yours, Sashi. Thank you, Ashwin, and uh, congratulations to the team, Ashwin and his team, for putting this wonderful gathering together. I think 200 or 300 people here, all Boscoites. It doesn't get much better than this. And as Ashwin hinted, we have, I think, celebrities all in this room, some of them here, <laughs> the rest there, or vice versa. Ashwin said it must, he didn't have any idea about who he would get together for this showcasing in this celebrity event when we first mooted the idea. I don't think it's much of a problem getting celebrities together in a Don Bosco event because if you had a potluck and if you just dipped into it and picked up any name, it's bound to be a celebrity. So I'm sure it's not so difficult to get celebrities together for a Don Bosco event and yet it's wonderful to see this, this pantheon, you know, this, this galaxy of, of uh, excellent uh, individuals, individuals who've done the school proud, done us proud, done the nation proud and continue to blaze a trail in their respective fields of specialization. And therefore, it just doesn't get better than this. From the young hope Arman at the extreme left to uh, not, not that age is anything, to say Vaiji Mahendran, who's perhaps the <laughs> youngest looking, but probably, you know, <laughs> of, of the 65 batch here. I, 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 I'm not in fact as old as I look. I dyed my beard for the occasion, just to give a, <laughs> give a sense of the generational, you know, range, the, the range that we have. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's fascinating that we are, we are able to get together here. And um, I'll now get on to the, to the business of introducing our speakers. Now, just to give you an idea of how we are structuring this. Um, the idea is each of our speakers, many of you know all of them. I mean, it, one of the problems of introducing someone who needs no introduction is you are redundant every inch of the way when you speak. You know? I mean, each of these speakers, I, I, I have a tough time uh, inventing things to say that will be of interest to you because you know them. You know them by reputation. You have seen them. You have heard them. You have read about them. They are in the newspapers. They are either making the news or uh, they are the news themselves. Uh, and so it's, it's a bit of a you know, tough task, a tall order to introduce people of that caliber. And yet, uh, I'll try and for form's sake, more than for anything else, try and give you a brief idea of each of them, a very quick kind of idea, and then request each of them to speak to you for about 10 minutes. And uh, after the panel is done, and that's going to be, I hope, the most interesting part of this morning, we'll open it up to an interactive session where you and the panel uh, can have a powwow, as it were, you know, a post-breakfast powwow. And that, I think, will, will carry us to, through to the lunch that we are look, we'll be looking forward to by then. So uh, let me start with uh, the only gentleman who represents Tamil Nadu in all its, uh, you know, in all its seriousness, in the dhoti, my, my very good senior friend, Vaiji Mahendran. You know, way back in the 60s, Don Bosco, I think, began sometime in the 60s, and shortly after, uh, some of us had joined the school. And I lived very close to the school, in Mont on Monteith Road, which is, so I used to walk to school every day. And the end of Monteith Road was this house, and there lived Vaiji Mahendran and his family, his father, Vaiji Parthasarathy. You know, I remember the, the benign, bellowing laughter of the man. You know, he, he had such a laughter that the entire street would light up with his laughter. It was such a beautiful laughter. And he, of course, uh, he's uh, one of the icons of the theater of the stage in Chennai. And at the age of 11, Vaiji Mahendran mm. made his debut, shall we say, on the stage in Chennai. And he hasn't left the stage. Even if he's left the stage, the spotlight hasn't left it. And he's been a, a theater actor and on the proscenium stage, on the screen. You've seen him in numerous films. Uh, he's, he's acted with the, the mightiest actors in this country, in this state, Shivaji Ganeshan, Kamal Hassan. I won't even mention the leading ladies he's acted with. It's, I mean, I'm always envious of you know, him. He, he, he gets to get, get to act with all the people you've, 
you've admired in your life. But what's interesting is, Vaiji Mahindran is, is such a versatile personality. I mean, his, his range is fascinating. He plays the bongos, he plays uh, the drums, he plays the mridangam. He's a, he was a great cricketer. I, I'm sure he still uh, knows and pr probably even plays the game, has a fling at the game once in a while. He's a good singer. And when he's acting on the stage, if you're sitting in the front row, half the jokes he cracks are at you or at your expense. He actually invents as he goes along. I've seen that happen. You sit in the front row and watch a Vaiji Mahendran play, he starts talking to you. And the audience doesn't know this because he's inventing jokes all along. You know? Now a man who's so quick-witted, who can be so fleetingly quick-witted, is such a delight. And, and it's, it's my immense pleasure that I'm meeting him. I would have liked to meet him as often as I would, but then he's a busy man. He's, he's shooting all the time. He's, he's all over the place. And uh, I'm glad I'm computing this show, not he, because otherwise he'll be pulling my leg and I'm sure many of our friends' legs all the time. So I'm glad he's not doing this job today. So it's an immense pleasure. Uh, and he's put in something like 6,000 appearances on the stage. Can you imagine? 6,000 appearances on the stage. And he looks so placid and calm and quiet as if he doesn't do anything for a living, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you look at him. So that's Maiji Mahindran. He's, uh, he's been awarded numerous awards, too numerous to mention here. Kalema Mani, the Kalevar Virdu Award. And uh, he's also the secretary of the Bharat Kalachar. His mother, of course, Mrs. Parthasarathy, Dr. Rajalakshmi Parthasarathy, is the brain behind, who conceived the, the, the famous Padma Seshadri School Network. Uh, so it's a great family, it's a, it's, a, it's a great offspring of a great family and it's, my, it's been my distinct pleasure to know him as well as I have and it's my distinct formal pleasure to present Vaiji Mahendran to you and to request him to speak. Good morning to all the superstars of Don Bosco. <laughs> That's how I'd like to call everyone, every student of Don Bosco is a superstar if you are a Don Bosco. You can clap for that, we know how. Namaskaram. <laughs> I'm going to talk in Tanglish. That's why I'm uh, <laughs> introducing you to both the languages. First and foremost, when I walked in, Sashi asked me, So I said, I <laughs> That's the simple reason. <laughs> so, and, uh, already there's a raging controversy about the Vaishti stuff, but I thought, no, this is a morning function. I'm sure nobody's going to stop me here. <laughs> so I decided to come out of this, because that's the only way I can stand out alone among this wonderful set of celebrities. Please give them a big hand. I'm Every one of them is an achiever. And me here, I am a personal fan of that great tennis legend Vijay Amitraj. Before I go on to anything else about what I did in Don Bosco and all that, I would like Vijay to know that he has come up so much in tennis only because of me. <laughs> you didn't know that. I'll explain. <laughs> when we were in school, these guys, the Amitraj brothers, would leave exactly at 3.45-4 and go for the coaching at the MUC grounds opposite the transport house with the great man, Ramarao. Am I right? And seeing that, my mother forced me to go for tennis coaching to the same Mr. Ramarao. <laughs> and there, when we saw him playing and the, the coach saw them playing and saw me playing, he was so disgusted with me that he wanted to make champions out of them. <laughs> used to force me to go there for tennis. The way I used to smash the balls on this side of the net, it never went across. I think Ramara was so disgusted, he made up his mind. I have to show my anger and my, my dedication to someone. And that's how the legend Vijay Amitraj came up in tennis. You have to thank me for that. Anyway, the best years of my life in Solapona, the five years I spent in Don Bosco, I'm sure every one of you will agree with me that the five years we spent there was the best. We've had five years later in college also. 
and then several years with our wives also. Well, well, I won't say much about that. But the best years were the Don Bosco years. And I regret I didn't join in 6th standard. I joined in 7th standard Don Bosco. Even the way I joined, it was something uh, very unique. Because right from the time I joined and the time I left, to me, the only superstar I ever, ever met in my life was Father Mallon. Nobody else. <laughs> An absolutely gigantic figure. I mean, he was... He, he, he was like the Visarubam of Lord Vishnu Pakunona, you can see Father Malan. That's what I saw in him. First time my mother and I went for admission there, we were living in that house, as he said, in Pantheon Road. He said, where are you from? I said, I'm just coming out of uh, an SSLC school. He asked me, do you know what algebra is? I have never heard of that before. <laughs> because we didn't do that. Then you would stand no chance here. And that's all, he went on to some other topic. But my mother stood there and said, you know, if my son tries, I know he's an intelligent guy. You see the lies that mothers have to tell for the children. <laughs> he will cope up with you. And he gave me a challenge. Okay, I will admit him. But in the July test, if he doesn't pass in algebra, I'll send him out. That is how he got me into Don Bosco. It was with a challenge. And believe me, that made me work so hard for that one and a half months. I think we had the July test, wasn't it? That was the first test we had. You won't believe it. It's not the stuff that films are made of. In the July test, I got my first merit card, first in three sections. That is how I did it. <laughs> the inspiration is only Father Malin. And after that, at each stage, he's been a real guiding force. In fact, to be very frank, the fact that my mother wanted to start a school full of discipline, but yet with our Indian culture, the inspiration was only Don Bosco and Father Malin. Let me say Padma Sheshadri was there. <laughs> And because she wanted only good students in that school, she didn't take me and my brother in that school. <laughs> she left us out. Because she always used to say, the Don Bosco had a discipline, and the way the boys speak English, the confidence with which they carry themselves, all that, I'm sure every one of us learned from Don Bosco. My, my proficiency in English definitely grew because of my association with Don Bosco, the teachers there, and the boys with whom we moved. When I went into AC Tech, I have some of my friends who continued with me in AC Tech also. We were feeling absolutely superior to all the other guys who came there, whenever we used to speak in English. If we had to prove any point, even when we were wrong, we would just talk in English and they would all shut up. <laughs> I still remember some of the lecturers were afraid to talk to us because we would suddenly go off in high bombastic terms that we learnt in Don Bosco. And one lecturer from AC Tech, I will never forget, such a meek guy. For his marriage, we played the music. I had a music group even then. Uh, my friend Murli here will remember, he was a physical chemistry instructor. Six months after the marriage, I met him and I said, Sir, your wedding reception was so nice. So, hello, all because of you, sir. He said, I believe your wife is also doing very well. <laughs> yes, sir, all because of you. And I said, I say, I believe she is pregnant now. And he said, yes, sir, all because of you. <laughs> I was shocked. I only played the drums. I didn't do anything else. <laughs> Murali will vouch for that because that joke eventually found a place in one of my plays. And it is still there. <laughs> I used that as a standard joke in every play of mine. I can't forget that man. He was so humble. He was afraid to talk in English. The Don Bosco English really flowed. I mean, he said, the only thing is that all because of you, sir. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> this was the confidence that Don Bosco gave me. Because in the 60s, the only thing that a parent asked for in Madras was, office, nalla government office, weed, mailapur, or tinagar, pulla Don Bosco. <laughs> That defined affluence and uh, comfort in the 60s in Chennai. We had that and we were very lucky because our house was just right across the road in Pantheon Road. So my brother and I used to walk across and come and things like that. And another thing which I, which helped me in my later years as an actor was, I learned that I could entertain people only when I, in Don Bosco. Because I found, and the training ground for that where I used to trade jokes with my friends, 
with others. Even my seniors used to come and, you know, the fun I made and all that they used to enjoy. Adhikalan training ground, the stage that was set in Don Bosco was the famous Hanif's ice cream parlor. <laughs> that guy was an institution. If he was alive, he should have been called here today. <laughs> there, I am sure there is not one of us who does not owe money to Hanif. <laughs> கடன் <laughs> <laughs> I found that people were laughing whenever I talk. Either they saw me as a buffoon or a joker or they really liked my jokes, you know. That gave me the confidence that I could entertain people. And so, I owe my acting career start to Don Bosco. And it was while I was in Don Bosco that I started acting professionally with my father, as he mentioned in 1961. And though I didn't act in the school plays, I remember that all the teachers from Don Bosco, the greats of those days, Mr. Selvadurai, Lodaraj, Ramachandran, our Hindi teacher, Subbarao, all of them came and saw the play, encouraged me so much, and then went back and told Father Malan that this guy is acting so well in uh, dramas, why don't you give him a chance in the school plays? You know what his reply was? I consider him a state-ranked student. I won't allow him to distract himself in school. That was his reply. <laughs> And true enough, I am proud to say, every time someone comes and tells me, I say, I saw your name in the role of honor there. I am so proud because I was third in state in the metric exam in 1965. I got a first class though, but in the Don Bosco, and the, you know, that motivation to do well, in our competition, the teacher and the teachers, the standards. If it was mathematics, we learned everything from Lodaraj and Ramachandran. And who can forget that great man, Samban, who taught us science? My God, what a teacher, what a teacher. One of the best. In fact, Father Malan was a little upset with my mother when she sort of took him over as principal for Padma Seshadri later. I remember in 1985, 20 years or 25 years after the school was started, Malan paid a visit to Chennai. Our 65 batch met him in our friend's house. He didn't remember anything else. He only asked me, is your mother still running the school? <laughs> Wasn't she the one who took Samban away from us? <laughs> These are the two questions he asked me. He had such an elephantine memory. And uh, uh, what about Selvadari? I mean, the man, uh, please give him a big hand. He's one of the greatest heroes we've ever had. His stentorian voice and the way he used to convey things to us. I'll tell you a little incident. Right up to five years back when he came to see my play, he had a nickname for me and he used to call me the wall jumper. You want to know how I got that nickname? I'll come out with it because you have to know that Don Bosco allowed fun also. It's not just studies. Uh, Vijay remembers it because he cut school for the same reason on the same day. <laughs> it was a Davis Cup match in Chennai between Osuna and Krishnan. Am I right? That was a match. As usual, we all asked for permission and it was promptly refused. And today, Vijay tells me that all three brothers got sick at the same time at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's how they managed. I didn't have that trick at that time. But my mother was saying, I'm going to the match. If you want to come, you join me. See, now she's a strict educationist. See how she was at that time. <laughs> so the last period between 3 to 3.45, we were all allowed to go and drink water in the corner near Museum Theatre. I drank water jumped across the wall and went home. <laughs> and that's how Svalvadarai even now calls me wall jumper. That's the name I've got. And uh, I'm very proud to say for that little prank, I got suspended for a day in school. Give me a big hand for that, man. I've been doing everything. <laughs> that's also one of my achievements. <laughs> uh, but then, of course, there was another very big incident we had in school, for which, again, uh, four or five of us, they, they're all here. We were suspended for three days. It was fun. It, it was done in fun. Why I'm saying this, 
what a great generous man father malan was i want to lead to that we were not given a holiday for uh, uh, pulayar chaturthi vinayaka chaturthi we were all complaining not that we were going to stay home and do uh, puja we just missed one more day of leave and hanging around at home that's all it had nothing to do with religion so some of us got a bright idea why not we celebrate vinayaka chaturthi in class on that day we had a free period we knew that so some of my friends myself the main culprit here is here svr hariharan is here alila ram one more guy itraj would you know and look at the other guy who joined us for vinayaka chaturthi ikbal amma vasaiku abdul kadir ku sambandham illa nu vaangala anniki romba sambandham we brought bought all this coconuts flowers this that camphor everything and in the